In this tutorial, I will explain often used homebrew package manager terms such as formula, bottle, cellar, keg, cask, and tap. This presentation can be found at this location. Homebrew is a free and open source package management system for Unix-like operating systems. Homebrew is popular on Mac OS. To install Homebrew, navigate to this address and copy this one-line installation instruction and paste this instruction in your terminal. When a package is installed, it will be installed in the cellar. This is the location of the cellar. The install packages are symlinked into this path, which actually means symlinked into these paths, but only if it is needed. For example, after the package httpd is installed and you go to this path, then this symbolic link is created. And as you can see, the executable httpd is installed in the cellar. The package httpd also have libraries, which is installed in this path, lib httpd, in the cellar. This symbolic link is created in this path. And the package httpd also have include files, which are installed in this path. In slash user local include, a symbolic link is created. The packages are also symlinked into this path. For example, the package httpd in this path, this symbolic link is created. What the purpose is of slash user slash local slash opt will be explained in CAC only. Here is an overview. When you install a package with Homebrew, the package will be installed in these paths, but only if it is needed. And symlinks are created in these three paths, but only if it is needed. For example, there is an executable over here. Then there is a symlink created. If there are include files, then this symlink is created. And if there are library files, then this symlink is created. And in slash user local opt, a symlink is created. Homebrew prefers installing within directory slash user slash local. Apple has assigned this directory for non-system utilities. This means there are no files in slash user slash local by default. So there is no need to worry about messing up existing tools or system tools. The slash user slash local slash bin directory must take precedence over slash bin, slash user bin, slash s bin, and slash user s bin. See the best profile. To check this, Type echo path, and the path is searched from beginning to end with the first matching executable being run. And here is a reminder what the purpose is of these directories. I will not explain these further. Now I will explain often used homebrew package manager terms. I will start with formula. Formula is a Ruby script which defines the package, and a package is another name for software. The formula contains information such as where the package tarball containing the package source can be downloaded from, what package dependencies it has, and how to install the package. Here is a formula example. This is the package name git game, and this is what a formula looks like. As you can see, here's an URL where the package tarball can be downloaded from. The formulae on the Mac OS can be found at this location. And this is the default homebrew formulae git location. To install a formula, type in this command. For example, brew install git dash game. Explaining the term bottle. Homebrew provides pre-compiled versions for many formulae. These pre-compiled versions are referred to as bottles and are available at this location. Homebrew aims to bottle everything, and these pre-built binary packages are simple gzip tarballs of compiled binaries. The bottles were hosted at this location, but as of May 1st, 2021, the bin tray hosting provider was shut down. The Homebrew's binary packages are migrated to GitHub packages at this location. Homebrew version 3.1.0 and up will have the new default download location. By default, if a bottle is available and usable, 
it will be downloaded and installed automatically when you type this command. If you wish to disable this, you can do so by specifying this argument or this argument. Just like formulae and casks, bottles are installed in the cellar, this path. Now I'll explain the term cellar. Homebrew downloads and installs packages in the cellar directory. The cellar location is this path. Here is an example when you install the NetWide Assembler package, aka NASM. To install NASM with Homebrew, enter this command. Next, the NASM Ruby script will be executed, located at this location. Next, the NASM package is downloaded and installed in the cellar. Here's an example. This is the package name and this is the version number. The NASM binary is installed, as you can see over here. This is the executable. This directory contains a sim link to the NASM binary, as you can see over here. Please note, the NASM package has no libraries or include files. The directory slash user slash local slash opt contains a sim link to the NASM binary, as you can see over here. Now I'll explain the term CAC. As mentioned earlier, a package is installed in a cellar. Here's an example. Each package is installed in its own directory, as you can see over here, followed by the version number. The combination package name and version number is referred to as CAC. Now I will explain the term CAC only. CAC only means the formula is only installed in the cellar and the packages are not symlinked into slash user slash local, meaning these three directories. So in these three directories, there are no symlink created to the installed package. If CAC only, most tools will not find the installed package. To check if a formula was installed as CAC only, type this command. You can still create a symbolic link to the formula with this command. Though this can cause unexpected behavior if you are shadowing macOS software. Homebrew automatically installs a package as CAC only if it detects the new package will cause problems with an already installed package. For example, the new package shadows a version of a library that ships with macOS, and superseding macOS libraries can cause problems. To force a package to be installed as CAC only, type this command. As mentioned earlier, the CAC only packages are not symlinked into this path, but they are symlinked into this path. For example, the package getText is CAC only which means it is not symlinked into this path. If you need to have get text first, modify your path, as demonstrated here. The path is modified in the bash profile. For compilers to find get text, you may need to set these export commands. Now I'll explain the term cask. Cask is an extension of homebrew. Just like a formula, there are Ruby scripts but they are used to download and install GUI applications. The cask on the Mac OS can be found at this location. The default cask git location can be found at this location. To install a cask, type this command. And here is an example to install the hex package. Here's a cask example of the package hex. And here is an URL to download the hex installer DMG file. I will now explain the term tab. A tab refers to a Git repository, and the repository name starts with homebrew dash. By default, homebrew uses the following Git repositories. These three Git repositories. The command brew tab, without arguments, lists the current tab repositories. You will see this tab repository, which refers to the core formulae for the homebrew package manager. You will see this tab repository, which refers to installation and management of GUI macOS applications. And you will see this tab repository, which refers to manage background services with macOS LaunchCTL daemon manager. If we look at this tab repository, this is the user. 
and this is the repository name, which means the actual Git location will be HTTPS github.com. This user refers to this user, and then the homebrew dash, and this repository name refers to this repository name. More Git repositories can be added by typing this command. When this command is executed, the repository https github.com slash user, this user refers to this user, and then slash homebrew dash, and this repository name refers to this repository name. And this GitHub repository is cloned into this macOS path. Again, this user refers to this user, and this repository name refers to this repository name. Here's an example. Let's add the beef tornado slash rm3 git repository. Enter this command. After you enter this command, the git repository is cloned into this macOS path. The user is beef tornado. That is the same beef tornado over here. Followed by homebrew dash. And this is the repository name, is the same as this repository name. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.